Stevenson. I work with Bamboo Finance and the Oasis Fund. Bamboo Finance is a Swiss-based investment advisory firm that specializes in social entrepreneurship. We've raised a fund that's called the Oasis Fund. It's a commercial uh, private equity fund that invests in social businesses globally. So we're looking particularly for those type of social enterprises that are improving the quality of life for low-income markets. So we work quite closely in the areas of healthcare, affordable energy, water resources, education, and the like. Uh, we have uh, been around for about two years now, and the history of, of Bamboo Finance and the Oasis Fund is very much connected to the founder, Jean-Philippe Chauvel, who is also the founder of an organization called Blue Orchard. And Blue Orchard has uh, its roots it's really in the microfinance business. They've been commercially investing in microfinance by providing debt and now equity to uh, MFIs around the world. Now having about a billion US dollars uh, of investments in microfinance institutions. So as Jean-Philippe began to see the opportunities that have been that are arising around the same markets that are being served by microfinance institutions that people need more than just loans for their enterprises. They need, they need access to healthcare, they need access to energy, access to education. And so we created uh, Member Finance and the Oasis Fund to serve that gap in, in the market. So uh, we've raised private capital from investors uh, in Europe and the United States and are deploying it as debt and equity investments. They range uh, uh, up to four million US dollars um, and as low as 250,000 US dollars. And uh, our approach is, is quite commercial. We're looking for financial returns. Uh, but really the purpose is the social and environmental impact of these organizations. Uh, we're, we believe that the long-term sustainability of, of, our, uh, of our planet, of, of our existence, is, is measured in that social and environmental impact. So it's critical that all of the, the blended elements uh, are aligned. And, and so that as we look to raise capital beyond in, uh, individual investors and into institutional investors like pension funds, we're seeing that more and more people are interested in this exciting space. Uh, one of the investments that, that we've made is in an organization called Vidagash, which is a Mozambican uh, uh, company that's been around for about eight years. Uh, Vidagash provides propane. It's an energy company that sells propane in the northern part of Mozambique. And it was created actually because the health system didn't have the energy to keep uh, energy access to keep uh, vaccines cold uh, and also lighting for nighttime birthings and, and, and things in the clinics in the northern part of Mozambique that, that were really uh, in need of an energy source to strengthen people's uh, health outcomes. And so our partner is Village Reach, uh, which is a, a non-profit organization uh, in uh, the United States. And the local partner, which is a Mozambican organization called uh, Foundation for Community Development, uh, were, were critical in creating this enterprise eight years ago, developing it to a point at which it is interesting to us as commercial investors that we're looking at providing the capital that would help them expand into uh, the household market. So beyond energy uh, provision to the clinics in the northern part of Mozambique and some small businesses, they're able to provide to households in Mozambique as a replacement for charcoal and wood that people are using for cooking. And this charcoal and wood actually has significant impact, first on, on, on uh, the environment, issues of deforestation, and second, in terms of health impact, the number one killer of kids under five is actually of a respiratory disease, which is a, a direct uh, result of, of the uh, indoor air pollution from cooking inside the house. Kids are around their mothers who are cooking uh, and, and who are... are um, experiencing this, this pollution and getting sick from it. So we believe that the video gas investment is quite significant. We're excited about it. We think it has a huge social impact. This is a great financial uh, upside for us uh, and uh, we have some strong partners there so we're very proud to be working with them and, and excited that the announcement was made at SOCAP this year.